Hey guys, today we're going to take a look at Perfect Dark Zero on the Xbox 360. Specifically, the uh, Limited Collector's Edition. So, uh, this was actually one of those games which was a launch title for the Xbox 360. And uh, I remember it being the game that I really wanted to try out on the system, uh, back when it was new in 2005. And uh, it was this, and I was also interested in Cameo, and I think Gun, and... Uh, I can't really remember what the other launch titles were, but... Uh, this was one of the big ones, and of, co and of course, uh, it was partially because I played Perfect Dark on N64. So I was very interested in uh, checking this one out. Well, I didn't actually get to check it out for a very long time, until uh, quite recently. But, um, or I picked up this little uh, collector's edition for about, I think it was ten bucks. But, um, yeah, I I've got to say, I was a bit disappointed in the game itself. Um, I haven't played much of it, but what I have played doesn't really entice me to play anymore. But, uh, anyway, so on the front cover we've of course got uh, the redesigned Joanna Dark. Uh, oh, you know, looks pretty nice. We've got this uh, nice little plastic cover over here, which has of course the rating, Microsoft's logo, and of course the lovely Rare logo. On the back, we have uh, Joanna Dark kind of, you know, on, this is on the plastic overlay in front of uh, this cool futuristic background. Uh, we have some nice screenshots showing off the game's next-gen prowess, although, honestly, none of them show it off that well. Um, and, of course, we get a little blurb about the storyline and that sort of thing. Uh, the storyline is really confusing and strange, but anyway. We also have a description of the limited collector's edition, uh, you know, what it includes. So we have a bonus DVD, a special issue comic book, and a limited edition glyph. So if we remove this, we can see that on the steel book, whoops, whoops. Uh, we can see that on the steel book we have uh, Joanna Dark there as well, and uh, this is actually textured a little bit, so you've got a bump going out for the gun, which is rather nicely detailed. Um, but there's no logos or anything interesting aside from that. We've got the perfect dark logo, which actually is rather nice and shiny. And, uh, of course, we've got Rare down there, which is always nice to see on my bookshelf. Well, not, well, not bookshelf, game shelf. Um, and we've got uh, the full shot of this futuristic city, which, you know, it looks pretty great. Uh, it's a fairly high-quality steelbook. Uh, definitely one of the better ones that I've seen, com well, compared to some of the cheaper options. But, um, yeah, so we've got our bonus uh, DVD, which actually is supposed to have bonus uh, content, like behind-the-scenes videos and stuff like that. Which uh, I haven't got around to taking a look at yet, but uh, I'm sure that'll be interesting for anyone that's a fan of Rare. And of course we've got the game disc itself, which is just a reprint of the front cover. But moving on, we have... Let's see here. <laughs> uh, we've got a few different things here. So we've got a Guide to Modern Combat 2020 edition from Datadyne. So, uh, you know, it's full colour, which is rather nice. It's actually nicely detailed and, uh, you know, it uses high quality printing. Uh, we've got lots of screenshots. It's uh, n not quite like what you'd call a rare manual, but uh, it does have a lot of flourishes and details that you wouldn't find in a lot of places uh, with game manuals for this past generation. Uh, so, like, you've got stuff like that. We've changed your life with, uh, you know, day to die and. Uh, I don't know, what is it? A digital assistant. So, stuff like that. We get little uh, newspaper quippings and things like that. I mean, if, if the story was actually that interesting in the game, I think that this would uh, actually really add to it, but uh, in my opinion at least, I, I didn't find it that enthralling. Goes through all the guns. And, uh, of course, melee weapons as well. Snipers, gadgets. Jetpack, hovercraft. So it's definitely a manual, you know, one of the better manuals you'll find, I think, uh, for this past generation. And uh, it does have a lot of nice little flourishes. So, yeah. Aside from that... We get this little thing here, which is the promised comic. And uh, it's definitely nicely illustrated. Uh, it's got a pretty simple to follow storyline. 
Uh, it introduces our characters for the game, so it's a nice little addition, I'd say. And then we have, well, what the back of the box called our Datadyne Limited Edition Glyph. Uh, I'm not sure if this came into play in the game or something, but, um, yeah, that's uh, kind of a nice little addition. It's very shiny, as you can see. Uh, it's got numbers in the background. So, uh, yeah. And the back is also sh very shiny as well, with Perfect Dark Zero logo. So, uh, you know, it, it's only a simple little thing, but it's, it's a nice addition to spruce up the collector's version. And finally, the by far the least interesting thing, the Microsoft customer service numbers. But anyway, so that has been your look at Perfect Dark Zero, specifically the limited uh, limited collector's edition on the Xbox 360. So uh, as I say, I don't think the game is actually that good. I think it kind of had a lot of ambitions, but I don't know. I'd say it pro possibly was a bit rushed or something like that to get it out for the console's release. But uh, anyway. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you later.